Gordon. What up, Baka suckers? We got a new one for you here. From the from the people who brought you shit crazy fighters and mouse pads with boobs, we have Death Smiles. This is the limited edition. Take note first, the new spiffy uh, decor for the 360. Probably one of the first games, if not the first game, too. So anyway, um, any way you flip this thing, you can see the logo on the side. Nice attention to detail. What do you get in this, you ask? You get a faceplate, a soundtrack, the game CD, and an awkward box that won't fit on any bookshelf. Alright, so, let's open this bitch up here. Uh, just gotta be very careful that we don't fuck up the box. We don't want to screw anything up. That's good. There it goes. Alright. Death Smiles is a shmup game. For those of you who don't know what that is, it is a Latin coffee with syrup in it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so funny! Shoot 'em up game. Like R type, you know, fly across the screen, crazy shit flies everywhere. This just shooting. Alright, first up the game. And on the cover, very suggestive, very uh clearly those young angels, as they are in the games, are very comfortable with sleeping with each other. And, um, you have five characters to choose from. I guess there's special shit. I don't know. This game's actually three years old. It's been out in Japan that long. They just decided now, oh, you know what? I think we should throw it over to the Americans, because they seem to like shitty games overpriced. So they decided, hey, let's do that. And, uh, this isn't helping at all. There we go. We know you gotta be careful with the sharp blades. So, we have the soundtrack first with all the children on it, the fine looking children, and some sort of suggestive game disc. More attention to defect. It's got a colored manual. None of that black and white crap. There's an apple, there's some screenshots, there's character profiles. They actually care about what you, um, and it's more than three pages long, like most of the things are now. So, last but not least, is the faceplate. This probably cost 50 cents to make, but you get all of this for $49.99. So, it's got the chicks on it again, power button there. I'm very happy that they continue to, to publicize the Xbox as being set up vertically. You don't want to do that, because it'll break. Most importantly, they have directions on how to set up the faceplate. In case you don't know how, here's how you do it. Right there. And that's all you need to know. So go play your anime, porn, whatever game, an excuse to look at things and not be ashamed. And then go watch some Inuyasha. What the fuck are you doing?